all right it's time to go live all right guys so this is going to be a super super cool super good video um i'm not going to uh maybe wait for a lot of people to come in because i got a lot of good information to talk about tonight i'm going to be talking about some beta testing that i'm doing for um the uh the gtac tough book the uh zygo x6100 and um the antenna system that i'm running so tonight on the primary side on the input side i'm going to be running the new elect uh sdr and with this sdr uh, dongle i'm going to be pulling in um weather data weather data satellites from um wx to uh to image and what the plan is is to track these systems with um g predict track with g predict use the sdr sharp as the radio to receive the data have that all mapped into um wx to image it's going to do a uh, manual records and once it records the data we're going to bring that data up to um wind link so that we can take these images and get them up to wind link um basically in a man pack grid down independent uh scenario um so I, i'm really excited about this i have a big summit uh, activation coming up in the next few months it's gonna be me and a bunch of my buddies and basically what the plan is we're going to go to a bunch of summits around let's say north carolina south carolina atlanta uh, georgia area and one of my main goals is to be able to take and track weather satellites pull down that data and be able to pull down more gps data because i have built in gps on the uh, gtac itself and take that data decode it and send it to my buddies send weather information via WinLink um, through the um, X6100. That would be uh, pretty much a dream come true. And and like I said, uh, the, uh, the new elect the, um, and uh, the Nest Smart T by, by new, new elect and the 6100. And I kind of give you an idea of the uh, antenna that I'm running that I'm starting this uh, with. Right here, if you can see it, I have a circular 137 megahertz uh, antenna. I kind of put on a broomstick and I fashioned some coax on it so that um, I could receive these satellite images. And let me see if you got a, can get a good picture of it. That's the antenna that I'm, I'm picking up the satellite images on now. Earlier, I was picking them up on the uh, Diamond X200 and, and I was getting decodes in, but tonight I wanted to refine it because right now I'm running a low noise amplifier and a filter um, for 137 megahertz, specifically with a 137 megahertz antenna so that I can get better decode. So I can pull down the images and I can pull down the audio files so that I can get nice, crisp and clear uh, weather uh, data images, all right? The cool thing about it that I love about what's going on now is that with WX to image, I'm running the GPS right now and uh, it's going to basically allow me to go into record mode and um, you'll be able to see the tracking data that I'm getting from my GPS. So if I go into record, for example, auto record, and if you look down right here, I have all of that GPS data coming off COM port 2 of the GTAC. And so now I have all that information that I can send, okay? But one cool feature that I've come across recently is pretty much a push button inside the settings associated with the wind link. And you can go in and you can say GPS position reporting. And there you go. Now, the cool thing about this, if I use this GPS data, I can usually hit one, one button, post report. And now I can send an attachment. And which will be a picture so let's go back to gps position um gps position reports boom so i can set this out to the outbox go into the outbox right here so we say boom post report we're going to go to the outbox once i come into my outbox i can simply check this out guys i can um i can attach a weather image from my folder right here from all of the images that i recorded earlier today so i'm going to take one image right here open and i'll hit finished 
and then I can come in right here with a simple with a simple comment and then I can go through WinLink and send that, that 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 image out so let's go back to see if we can find it boom 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 so we got this positional report right here boom QTH bang 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 all right so boom now I'm going to attach I'll add I'll add an image boom right there finished and so now I'm going to come into a comment and now I can set comments and send a simple email to whoever the case may be so I'll send W for UIE now granted I'm doing all of this from the GTAC itself um and this is epic for me taking FM data with a USB dongle collecting all the data right at your PC and so now we'll post this to Outbox we'll post this to Outbox we'll go down to Vara FM and let's see now let's open up a session we should have some sessions opened up here close that up let's open up a session let's see what we got here in link. boom start connect so now we're connecting to WinLink and I'm sending out that positional data. I'm sending out that picture that I got from integrating a small U-Blocks USB dongle into WinLink, which gave it that data. And it was boom, it's that fast. I'm sending out the I'm sending out the weather image. So I'm really excited about that. Um, because it's fun. You know, I was having a conversation with my Elmer today, and we were just talking about, you know, um, a lot of people expect a lot out of him because he does a lot of CW. And I say, man, I'm going to get into CW very soon. But um, I'm not running the um, the 6100 wirelessly yet. I can I can I can run the 705 wirelessly, but not the 6100. I'm still searching the interwebs and and, and trying to um, figure out how we're going to do that. But once the 6100 uh, turns wireless, it's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be wonderful because. You haven't lived until you operated MCOMs wirelessly like I did with the 705. But having said that, you know, I'm just so looking forward to the idea of having fun and experimenting. What we're going to see as this project develops is going to be a USB dongle connected to an antenna. That antenna is going to run to the tough pad. We're going to track. We're going to trace. We're going to find the satellites, you know. And then we're going to save it to a file and then we're going to send it all over WinLink. Just like that. Let's see if we can connect back again. Let's start again. Connect. And I think that was the most important thing that I wanted to talk about. Sending weather data images that you collect from a simple FM SDR dongle. Compiling them, extracting them, and sending them via QRP over your QRP radio. That's about sweet as it gets. So I'm only in the, the beginning stages of this project, of this idea, because like right now, I have my antenna, <laughs> I have my tough pad, and um, you know, I, I'm just looking forward to making it happen. Let me select another channel. I want to get this email out before we end the, the, the video. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's go up. Because we were putting out 10 watts. Let's see. See if I can find a good station. Oh, everything up there is bad, seems like. But you know what? That station that I'm on seems pretty good. So you know what? I'm going to try again. Connect to it again. Yeah, I don't usually have that many problems. All right, guys. So just wanted to do a quick video about a project that I have going on. Um, something really cool right in your backpack. Um, very small, very high speed, low drag. Um, and the idea that the GTAC itself is providing um, GPS data for WX to image. And the U Blocks is also providing GPS data on two different ports to um, WinLink. That, that's phenomenal. And, 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 and I do have some audio cables that have a lot of the softwares linked. Um, so if we were to go into G Predict, right now with G Predict, I have radio uh, control. Yeah, I heard that earlier. Um, 
Yeah, my, my Elmer was telling me that a lot earlier that day. He, he didn't even get on today because of the um, solar radiation that uh, and the band, how the, the band conditions today. Um, I've literally been like running these uh, software defined um, USBs and I've been pretty much refining the process of pulling down better images um, and um, getting more clear, uh, more concise uh, data packages. Um, like I said, I was using my, my, my big diamond antenna and I said, you know what, let's go outside, let's uh, hook this antenna up to a broomstick, let's uh, fabricate a cable to come down to um, the devices and let's see what we can come up with. But you know, one cool thing, if you guys don't already know this, when you're using a USB dongle, um, G Predict itself, it will provide radio control for um, the radio software. And in my case, I'm using SDR Sharp, I believe. Yeah, SDR Sharp or SDR Plus Plus. So I can engage it and it'll track the satellite um, via the Doppler effect. And the cool thing about the Kepler data that's associated with G Predict and the Kepler data that's associated with um, WX to image, um, the passing of the satellites are spot on. They are spot on. So the way I'm acquiring the data, as many of you guys already know, I'll come into G Predict. I'll set up the uh, the radio data. I'll get everything going. So if you look here, I think uh, I think we'll go here. I think uh, NOAA 15 will be in about 13, 13 minutes. Um, and the cool thing about it is this software is mapped to the SDR um, player. And then the SDR player itself, it's mapped to the audio port on WX to image. So WX to image can basically decode the, the information. So tonight's efforts were to maximize and get the most resonant antenna to get the best images. So, if you guys got any questions, man, um, it's a live chat. It's Sunday. Um, let's do it. If not, I'll probably end the video, but I just wanted to share my excitement on, on this project that I'm developing. Right now, I'm just in the lab. Um, I got wires everywhere, but when this thing is uh, done, all I'll have is uh, the 137 megahertz antenna that's behind me with a broomstick in my backpack. I'll have my USB dongles. So that'll be the FM 137 megahertz portion. I have the GTAC, and then that data will transfer from the GTAC out through the 6100 via QRP through whatever um, um, antenna system that I choose to use, whether that may be a spark plug, a tactical delta loop, uh, uh, or whatever the case may be. So wish me luck on this one, man, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave any comments, um, share this video, but just kind of like let's uh, run with the idea there's a lot of guys doing no uh, weather data and they're doing it from the shack i want to put it in my backpack and i want to bring it out to the field and i want to share that information with uh with live activators hell i even maybe want to be able to be on the mountaintop and send it to you and here we here we go i'm depending on the batteries in my um the two batteries in the gtac and i'm depending on the internal battery on the 6100 um that's just a, ma a match made in heaven. Yeah, Matt, you, you kind of you get the idea. You get the idea of what we're uh, what I'm shooting for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it. That let's let's switch it back up. You know, and that's it. One radio, one tablet, a bunch of free software, <laughs> a few USB dongles, and my trusty old antenna. You know. That 137 megahertz antenna. I got it from eBay. I paid about 60 bucks for it. And uh, we're going to see. So as a matter of fact, I am going to see if we can, uh, maybe you guys can help me catch a pass. And come down. So right now, um, yeah, it's fun in the field. It's all about fun, man. And you know what? I like the idea of, you know, catching a satellite. I, I, I just, I love that idea. So right now, um, we're going to go into tracking, select the satellite. We're going to say, uh, NOAA 19 should be coming. Let's see what the radio control is doing. We're going to engage SDR sharp. So now I'm going to turn on SDR sharp. I'm going to turn that on. Boom. And so now I am 
I'm connected. So let me make sure that SDR Sharp is listening. It's listening for on, on that port. And I think that port is uh, 4532 that is going to listen to G Predict. So now G Predict can have control of the VFO on um, on this uh, software defined radio graphical interface. And then I got everything also mapped, the audio mapped to the uh, cable input, the VB audio cable. And so now that is associated with the VB audio cable, when I go into image and it's time for it to start recording. Um, and so right now it's about 134 UTC and I think it's that satellite is going to come in at 148 UTC. So we'll have an opportunity to pretty much um, see if my antenna is going to be hitting. And so now I'm just watching it. Uh, let's see if I can go into this player. Boom. This is this is the window uh, that I want. Yeah. And you know this doesn't cost you anything. I mean to do this, you don't you don't have to be a ham radio operator. I think that's the cool thing about it. But for but for the guys that do ham radio, and for the guys like me who who enjoys. Uh, I enjoy uh, spending my time out in the wilderness. I love being on the mountaintop. Um, some of my bigger dreams are just getting out on the weekend, setting up a tent, having enough battery power to uh, do some QRP, uh, MCOMs, um, PSK31, Winlink, uh, FT8. Um, hell, I'll even do some SSB. It, it, it doesn't matter to me. I just, and it's not the fact that I'm just like singling out QRP. Um, I just like the radios. I love uh, the 705. I love the 6100. I kind of like the, the TX500. I kind of have buyer's remorse about selling the one. I mean, I kind of got a little remorse about selling mine. Um, it just, I don't know. I had mixed feelings about the cable management. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I still got the Doomsday radio. I, I keep that as a backup at all times, you know. Um yeah, but there was some, I, I, I've been working all weekend on this beta testing, believe it or not. So we got seven minutes. I don't know if this video can last seven minutes, but maybe I'll do a short. I'll try to do a short. But man, thank you guys for watching. Um, I don't want to keep this too long. Simplify, man, and all you guys have a good weekend, a good work week. And uh, I'll be out. I'll let you guys know the next time you see a video, I'll probably be on top of a mountaintop. Um, during the daytime, um, trying to see if I can get this antenna to rock and roll. But other than that, man, peace out.